The country continues to receive rains, but uh, they have affected different parts of the country. Majorly in Mbali, the death toll continues to rise, but a search and rescue efforts are continuing in the Bugisu sub-region. The communities continue to wait for aid and also aid, uh, wait for relief. Seemingly, the government cannot offer much, according to the Disaster and Preparedness Minister, uh, Hilary Onek, who said that the government can only provide a few relief items, like shelters, food, and also some bathing. The landslides and floods have displaced people in the in their thousands and also destroyed property and infrastructure plus livelihood uh, following a heavy downpour that led to rivers Nabuyongo and Namasara rivers to bust their banks causing flooding across most parts of the city. Now the rains have which started on Saturday at 8 p.m. fell till about 7 a.m. the morning on Sunday morning the areas which were affected included Namabasa uh, Busamaga, Nkoma, Milotano, among um, others. Now, a reporter reports about the latest right now. A flood and a landslide in the east and a complete drought in the northeast. Squarely, all climate change related disasters and aggregately causing loss of life, property loss, people displacement, and infrastructure destruction. The heavy downpour caused some rivers from Captura district to bust their banks. This led to the flooding of landslide in the district of Mbale, Manafa, Bulambuli, Capturwa, and also affecting the neighboring Bukit district. The flooding of landslide displaced thousands of locals from their homes, destroyed property and infrastructure and their and the livelihoods around the flooding area. The damage caused by the flood has been by and large enormous in death, damage of shelters, health facilities and factories submerged by flood water. The most affected areas being in Bali City. The most affected areas were in Bali City, rising from Nabuyonga rivers um, which mo with more deaths recorded. Vehicles damaged, houses, schools, and livestock destroyed. The flooding is attributed to human activities that are triggering environmental destruction and hence providing lubricated vehicles for disasters. The floods are attributed to the encroachment of the fragile area of the bad, uh, and bad agricultural practices. For now, the government is queued towards providing quick and short-term relief support to the affected communities, including providing food and shelter. They've lost everything. At least you need a blanket to cover a child. You need some clothes to change. These are short term. You need some food to make them sleep well. And we are trying to get tents to make sure that those who are exposed to at least the rain which is continuing there does not you know, rain on them, to get them tents where they can. So these are the short-term measures now. Our people are busy on the ground, as I told you. And for the long term, the government is, is considering relocating the population from the disaster-prone areas to other communities where they will considerably be safe. The long term is really we have to, to restructure the settlements for our people in a manner that they don't stay along the harmway. means shifting some population shifting them away from the harm's way, replanting trees on those hills which are bare to make sure that they are, all the trees are replanted. And there we need to work together with the Ministry of Environment, Ministry of Water and Environment, who are responsible, the Forestry Department, responsible for planting forests. They know which trees have got deeper roots which can go and anchor the soil so the soil doesn't get slashed. The latest figures, according to the Ministry of Disaster Relief and Preparedness, put the death toll at 23. However, the real consequences of the flood will be felt in the aftermath of the disaster and will likely manifest in hunger, poverty and disease. Robert Indiamhachi for BTM News today. Robert Indiamhachi, thank you very much.